Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today we will talk about antigen processing and presentation by MHC class 2 molecules. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment and share my video. So extracellular or exogenous antigens are processed and presented by MHC class 2 molecules. Extracellular or exogenous antigens are processed and presented by in this way. Now, extracellular antigens originate from outside a host cell. So, extracellular pathogens such as bacteria are engulfed by antigen-presenting cells or APCs such as macrophages, B cells and dendritic cells by phagocytosis. After internalization of bacteria, a vesicle is formed around it. That is called phagosome. So a bacteria is internalized via phagocytosis. And the phagosome is formed that is around this bacteria. This phagosome fuses with lysosome. So here is the fusion of phagosome and lysosome. And that forms phagolysosome. Now the lysosome has an acidic environment and it also contains hydrolytic enzymes as well as reactive oxygen species those are ROS which kill and break down the pathogens. So here the pathogen is the whole antigen. So this pathogens are killed and broken down into smaller peptides. Breakdown of pathogens into smaller peptides. Smaller peptides are fragment antigens. So whole antigens that is the bacteria, it is broken down into smaller peptides which are fragment antigens inside the phagolysosome. Now these peptides are 11 to 15 amino acid long. Next. MHC class 2 molecules are synthesized in rough endoplasmic reticulum, RER. So here alpha and beta chains are produced. So basically RER or rough endoplasmic reticulum contains number of ribosomes and they produce MHC class 2 molecules and MHC class 2 molecules contain alpha chain and beta chain. So these chains are produced and they are complexed with a special protein that is known as invariant chain. So it is the special protein that is invariant chain this is this one so we can see that the alpha and beta chains are produced inside the RER and they are complexed with a protein that is known as invariant chain now this protein this invariant chain it blocks the MHC class 2 molecule from binding cellular peptides from the endogenous pathway. 
such as those that would be loaded onto class 1 mhc now this invariant chain also facilitates the export of mhc class 2 molecule from rer to golgi so translocation of mhc class 2 along with invariant chain is occurring into golgi apparatus and from golgi apparatus the complex is going toward the phagolysosome this is the phagolysosome so mhc 2 invariant chain complex translocates from er2 golgi and then from golgi into phagolysosome in the phagolysosome the invariant chain is then broken down by proteases right leaving only a small fragment called clip so the invariant chain is broken down into a small chain that is called clip by proteases inside the phagolysosome now clip maintains the blockage of mhc class 2 molecule another protein that is hla dm this is one more protein this protein facilitates clip removal so this protein removes clip and allows the binding of fragment antigens with mhc class 2 molecule so antigens which were produced inside the lysosome which are coming from the extracellular bacteria they will now bind with mhc class 2 inside the phagolysosome thus formed mhc antigen complex leaves phagolysosome and moves to the plasma membrane mhc antigen moves to the plasma membrane once this complex reaches cell surface helper t cell or t h cell can recognize it t h cell possesses t cell receptor and co receptor cd4 in the surface tcr recognizes mhc bound antigen whereas cd4 recognizes beta 2 domain of mhc class 2 molecule once t h cell recognizes this cell it initiates the subsequent defense or defensive mechanism so what we have seen that in this process whole antigens which are the bacteria so whole antigens are degraded to produce fragment antigens right and that is the process known as antigen processing these fragment antigens combine with mhc molecules inside the cell the mhc antigen thus formed travels to the cell surface 
In the cell surface, MHC displays its bound antigen to T cells. That is known as antigen presentation.